here on the Veterans Memorial Bridge, there's really not a lot to see up here, as you guys can see. But if you are out here in person, the stench below is the first hint so that what is below this bridge is a mess. It's got to be a health hazard by now. It's been there for two years. Wendy McDowell has lived in Chattanooga for five years. She calls the city a beauty, except for this spot on the Riverwalk. Uh, there's probably 10 dump truck loads of garbage. Underneath Veterans Bridge, right by the Bluffview District, you can find trash, bags and bags of trash. Some of it's in bags. Some of it is just raw trash. We also noticed, and this is very disgusting, but it is what it is. We noticed big five gallon buckets that people were using to urinate in. McDowell says she's tried reaching out to the city, including council members in Chattanooga 311, but has not seen any progress. I did get one response at one point that if I was so worried about it, why didn't I just get my neighbors and we could clean it up ourselves? She says she and others have tried to clean it up but the work is too much for a few people. We cleaned out this little patch of woods back here. There were 30 massive black trash bags of liquor bottles, beer cans, plastic. McDowell said she's done all she can. She called Channel 3, hoping that a spotlight on the problem might result in a cleaner riverfront. I mean, there needs to be trucks and crews involved, and probably people will have to wear, you know, masks when they clean this up. I don't know what all's in there. Now, earlier today, we did reach out to the city about this issue, and a spokesperson for Mayor Burke says that they are starting work on Monday to clean up the trash underneath the bridge, which is a week from today. And we also asked Chattanooga's mayoral candidates about it. Mayoral candidate Kim White says she's received plenty of calls about the litter across Chattanooga, and she is hoping for more resources to help fix this problem. For now, reporting in Chattanooga, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.